Let's get right to it in the last hour. We've shown you this scene. This is I-20 West at exit 92 near Alcove Road. Dozens of emergency vehicles here. Channel 2 is the only news station here on the scene right now. Investigators say they just found a car in the case of a missing woman. Channel 2's Audrey Washington's live near I-20. And in the last 20 minutes, Audrey, you actually had a chance to get closer to where they're trying to remove that vehicle. Right, and since we last saw you about an hour ago, we moved closer to the scene. We are actually closer to behind I-20 West. And, but first, we want to go straight to News Chopper 2 to show you what this looks like from above. From above, you can see just how large uh, this search effort, this recovery of this car effort is right now. You can see a number of sheriff deputies here on scene. There's also a tow truck here to try to get to that car. And back here on the ground, if we can come back to me. I just want to show you what the scene looks like from our perspective. Right over here is where uh, sheriff deputies put up some crime scene tape that goes around the perimeter. And this is what deputies just told me. They said a car similar to the one 53-year-old Yolanda Brown was last seen in was discovered in this wooded area. They have not confirmed whether the car actually belongs to the missing grandmother, but deputies told me in order to get to the car, they have to tow it out of here. They have to get uh, a, a uh, uh, excuse me, they have to get a way to cut a hole into uh, the fence. So the fire department is here on scene to help with that. Now, as we've been reporting to you, Yolanda Brown disappeared a few days ago. Her son says she never returned back to her home in Covington, and that is unlikely for her not to call anyone for days. Now, we got our hands on some video which showed the grandmother last seen talking with a man outside of a bar in Hapeville. Her mother held a press conference, her, her family rather, held a press conference and told us they suspect foul play in the case. They say the man last seen with Brown gave inconsistent stories to them and to the police. Yolanda Brown was last seen driving a black 2020 Chevy Impala with Georgia tag CUQ6437. Again, deputies say they found a car in their words that was very, very similar to the one Yolanda Brown was driving. Next, I'm told the car will be towed to the GBI uh, headquarters for the investigation to continue there. And that's the latest here in Newton County. I'm Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.